Well, hello and welcome to Jim Rism Total Nourish Channel. We are here to build more star made ship with new power and stuff like that. Anyways, roll the music. I'm rolling the music myself, so it's kind of depressing. I have to tell myself to do it. Anyways, um, so I'll just um, begin to say this. Power 2.0 was released a little bit early um, I believe or I have heard that this was because uh, a lot of people wanted to have power 2.0 and basically told the StarMate development that release it already um, fortunately it seems that the StarMate development team gave in and did release it and I believe this seems to be too early, because stuff weren't working. And now, uh, of course, we had some bugs, and StarMade development is trying to fix it. Um, that's why we had, like, three small updates now, with things fixing things. Fortunately, uh, the bug I told about with my FPS slow and going down when I played the game, um, Schema saw that, and... Um, found the problems and we did some testing and the problem was found and it's now solved in one of the new fixes which is awesome optimally optimal anyways most optimal would have of course been if it just worked the first time so i will just say to everyone playing star made please don't beg the star made development team to uh, develop th to uh, release things when they're not done because I also heard a rumor that the new power star, the new star mid power would be out before Christmas. Um, of course, that didn't happen. Maybe that's why people ask them to release stuff early. Anyways, please don't ask the development team to release things too early, uh, because they might give in, and if they do give in, uh, then we get an unstable game. And I prefer to use the old system longer than uh, using a system that needs fixing all the time. Anyways, that said, um, after some new updates, um, <clears throat> the reactor stopped working. Or not the reactor, it was fine, uh, but the stabilizer stopped working. So what I did was I removed the stabilizers and put them there again and magically the power beams appeared again. So that's nice. Also, in the last video, a, um, a faithful subscriber um, pointed out that my shields were indeed not working, which was true. And actually, this one, active shields, said zero. Unfortunately, I couldn't get my shields to work, uh, so what I did was I removed all the stabilizers, and it didn't work, so I removed all the rechargers, and when all of that was removed, I put them back again, and voila, the shield is working again. So now it's working. Yeah, what I ha have I been doing? Well, since this reactor was stable and stuff last time, um, it seemed to have been made um, more stable or something, so I made it bigger. So we have 4000 power now. And um, I also installed reactors here. Uh, they are 15 in size, which is the minimum. And I have three chambers on three sides. This is interesting. Why is this throbbing red? Right. One of six dimension used. Right, 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 right. But wha what? Things are throbbing here. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways. Scan add-on, functional trigger, trigger, scan add-on, what's this? Interesting. Um, 
right. Interesting. Anyways, let's just uh, revert all the chambers. Damn it. Revert all chambers. Okay. No. What? Oh. I see. Jump base. I can't see in the size because of the damn... Can I remove this build menu? <laughs> uh, the game is not really optimized in 720p uh, really. Um, which is a small size I know, but I do need the size to make videos. Alright, we need 5 more blocks to have a functional size, I see. Oh, so reactor mobility, okay. The minimum size has been increased. Right. Let's jump into creative. What I did anyways, I added three chambers and stuff um, to the old minimum size, which has now been changed. So we need five more blocks. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. And this one. One, two, three, four, five. Right. And then we have this one as well, which. Or perhaps who? Let's just carve out this little space here. Yeah. Need an additional size of one, two. Wait, what? Oh. I wonder what happens when you mix. Oh, now it's. I guess I made one huge chamber now, right? Yeah. I now made one huge chamber. Anyways, I think it would be super cool if uh, instead of we having levels to the reactors, we instead just had sizes. So that instead of leveling something up, you could just make it bigger. That would be better. According to me, anyways. Because you see now, now we have uh, reactors. Um, reactor chambers here. Um, we now have, uh, let me just show you, FTL chamber. Ew. Why doesn't that work? Okay, revert chamber, right? Great. General chamber. Right. Show full tree. Seems like it's not really working very nicely. Oh, FTL chamber needs. Wait. Are they not connected? Oh right, um, that's right. So this, this, yeah, I forgot. Uh, it's in two parts. This part and this part. Let's make it symmetrical, by the way. Um, so this part also needs five more blocks. I confused myself there. Okay, never mind. Let's place five blocks there. Right, because this one, this chamber is connected to the reactor, and this has an extra chamber or a secondary chamber connected to this one. I know it looks like a mess, but I'm um, I'm trying to fit in systems as uh, snug as possible. Maybe not. That's not how how you're supposed to build in New Star Made or something. But uh, <laughs> I'm kind of used building that way, anyways. Let's make it look a bit less miserable. Right, like that, anyways. 
So this one is connected by this conduit to this one, which is connected to the reactor and stuff. Right. So, reverse chamber, fantastic. Now we have mobility chamber. We have two mobility chambers, this one and this one. The mobility chambers does however not, indeed not, um, have, they're not connected to each other. So why the tech, why this tech points things is a little bit hard to understand, uh, or our reactor capacity points, I mean, um, is that we have two different chambers here, that makes sense. But here it makes, you know, we have this one to this one, you see, we have this little tree. But if we have this one, we can say specify chamber. And you would imagine that this one, the top speed, okay, uh, that the top speed one we just selected would need an additional, to an additional uh, chamber in a tree to basically have higher levels, or that it would be three times as a big to make more, uh, to be better. But it's not that way. Instead, we level it up. Yes, that's how it works. You just level up things. And that's it. But this one, where we have a selection, then it's different. Then we need to first, you know, say we have a thrust blast, and then we you know, we need to, we can't level this up. We need to um, have an extra tree here because these thick lines means you need a physical connection. The straight line only needs a uh, level up. So I think that's a bit confusing, but uh, well, well. Well, uh, we want this ship to be... Um, let's have turn rate because say we want to... Um, kind of go around in small spaces and stuff. Anyway, special jump drive and uh, jump drive base is what we had there. Did we have a selection? No, it's warp gates. We jump inhibitor base, I see. Jump drive base and uh, then we have the other See, we have we need a physical connection, so we can change jump, charge speed, jump out the charge, or jump distance, or multi charge, or jump a fish power. Um, let's see if we can level this up. Come on! Oh yeah, we could. Now we have the fastest jump. We have the fastest load speed. Is it just me? Or one, it eats power totally. And it's still depressingly slow. <laughs> Come on, I wanted the fast jump drive. This is depressing. Um let, let's not have let's not that's just stupid. I don't wanna have speed. Revert chamber. Okay, specify chamber. Jump distance. Um, so we can do a selection here. Power efficiency, that's boring. Multi charge. Um, enables a store multiple charges. Yes. But then we'll still have to sit around and charge it forever. Which is boring. Uh, Auto charge. That's also cool. I want to try multi charge. Level up. Okay, that requires less tech points for some reason. We can now uh, load it four times. Hmm. Actually, I think maybe I could uh, connect up an auto charge to this one, which would um, mean that we can. So here we have it, right? Multi charge, and then we can have an additional chamber. 
kind of down here. And this needs 15 more blocks. And I guess they can't touch. No. Correct assumption. Well, let's just use this little space here. Five more blocks. I. Mm, well, 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 well. I think my f chambers are so completely ugly. It's kind of depressing. All right. Uh, Auto charge. Fantastic. So now, I imagine this will charge itself, and I hope it will charge itself four times. This would mean this would actually be pretty useful. Oh yeah, it's still charging. Cool. That sounds useful. So we can jump four times, um, which is cool. And more fun than the jump speed thing, that was kind of just depressing. So of course, this will be a passenger ship. Um, it would basically load and... Uh, yeah. It will load and jump. This nose is too sharp. Of course, we will do um, cosmetic stuff this episode, I think. But we solved uh, most of the tech things. Actually, I think this video is starting to look like a three-part video. Oh, yeah, right. I decreased the thruster size because one, it was humongous. Two, it was already too fast anyways. I see a problem. Oh, yeah, right. Ah. Our thruster is still eating too much power. Pium. Our pew pew laser. It's very cool. But it's fast enough. Oh right, now we have turn rate speed. This is because we want this to be able to maneuver in tight spaces. Like a city or something. Oh my god, we just appeared in the city. No, it's just my templates. Can we? Oh no, now I set that thing spinning. That's depressing. Look. <laughs> Anyways, um, so. Let's build this thing more. So now, wow, it actually loads three times and storage. That's pretty cool actually. I like this reactor setup so far. It looks sad, I have to admit. Right, so we want to do the outline of this thing. Um, of course, being a passenger ship, we want the entrance kind of here. Um, yeah. I wonder... Uh, <laughs> I guess this compartment will be staff only. I think the left side of the ship, I imagine... Let's see, or will it be the right side? Like this. No, I want the entrance on the left side of the ship. You'll, you're supposed to go in here. This will be the entrance. And here we'll have some kind of star or something. Definitely stairs. And you go up to the deck. Yeah, and you can sit on the deck. Right here. That's the plan. Um, this part will be, of course, this is the energy reactor. Um, so... This will be like engineer's compartment. Anyhow, the reactor and stuff, um, it's of course very sensitive. So, like the rest of the ship, we'll actually use... Doesn't look as cool. Um, 
We're going to coat the reactor with advanced armor. It's the only part of the ship that will be coast that will be having advanced armor. Um, and this is because the extreme importance of the reactor. Um, like the reactor is so important we cannot afford to uh, blow it up, so that means advanced armor. Just a single layer, but uh, the rest of the ship will just use hull anyway. Like that. Now we have a secure little reactor. <laughs> I suppose we'll need to cover up the back side of it as well, like that. And we can have some access panel or something. The chambers are not so important. <clears throat> or not as important. Yeah. Oops, no. So that's the reactor covered up. Um, let's see our colors. What is a... Should we make this white and red or something? Mm. White and red with stripes. That sounds cool. I'm just going to, um, of course, shields capacity, I guess it's maybe important. I think we we'll maybe should uh, cover up some blocks here. Now, just to make this more symmetrical, will my shields still exist? Yes, they still exist. Fantastic. Of course, I don't have a that one there. Right. Mm-hmm. Oops, press the random button. Everything became black. Crazy. These menus that are over overlaying themselves are killing me a little bit. Oh well. Kind of like that. And these are reactor stabilizer. I'd imagine they are also slightly important. We should probably prevent them from blowing up and stuff. Let's just put, put a little armor plate on them, yeah? Like that. Hmm. I wonder if this ship will be... Because I realize I do want it to be, uh, like, smooth. Which means that I want to have it in, like, advanced armor. No, I mean standard. Oh well. And we need some kind of... We need several docking types. Um, this will of course be the main deck. Um, and the pilot's compartment. Oh yeah. I wonder, let's see here. I can not use any type of template. I think this ship is perhaps too small. Also, I'm wondering if they'll remove the gravity block or not. I hope not. It's pretty handy. Because we could have a... Ooh. Automatic gravity gate here. Uh, um.
anyways. It will be pretty... I think maybe I'll just need to compromise a bit. Let's switch it to Whitehall instead. Because we do want it light. We can't have a uh, traveling ship that's slow. I mean, we do have pretty decent shields. So that should suffice, I think. And those as well. Anyways, let's shape the thruster instead. That's more doable. Like that. We will do a kind of tube structure for the thruster. Pretty classic. Now we'll begin with the basic little outline here, like that. And just place more blocks or like detail the thing later oh like that and now we can see that we can actually just have some more thruster blocks there to make up for the ones we remove this point we will that one and we'll replace it with one of these instead the little hepta thing and a neat cover-up operation with a square not square corner square corner Now, I believe the uh, thrust glow. Hmm. I do wonder. Let's see here. This tube looks a little bit straight, I think. Let's extend it to just over the edge. Like that. And we will now try our best to make an uh, angled output. Oh. Let's clean up in here for a little bit. Move some of those thruster blocks. Hmm. I wish there was a simpler button to click the remove mode. Or, hmm. Would be cool to make it automatic somehow. With just magically know when you need to use remove mode. It will. Um, it, this, is, this is actually very hard. Very, very hard. How do we make a smooth sliced tube? 
I tried it before and it's not easy. Of course the middle sections are the easy part, just like that. But now we'd need blocks that don't exist and we don't even want them because it uh, would make things so complex building. Or I wouldn't want them. I think I think the basic shapes and the slabs in Starmade is enough and is a very good balance. I I know some friends, <laughs> Cybercrow, would love to have more um, shapes, like in from the depth or something. But well, this 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 is where we're the block that doesn't exist. <laughs> a kind of yeah, you can see this shape is very hard to imagine. Or it's kind of hard to imagine. It's a weird shape. Kind of inverted half semi stretch tetra thing. I wonder if we can. Maybe we can try and hide this problem in a unnecessary detail thing. Yeah, it actually looks like I might possibly actually get away with this. And basically make people believe that this was the design all along. It looks like <laughs> it looks like I might as well, I might get away with this design flaw that I couldn't really solve. That's good. Okay, let's um, hmm. wait. This doesn't work. I thought I should make a little detail or something, but somewhere around there. However, like that, we do want a white, not white, yellow glow. However, we need the eyes. Where is it now? Eyes from Isengard. Right. And we do want to leave one blocks um, space because otherwise, last I checked, the glowing effects doesn't really work. I wish there was some way to make this less transparent. Hmm. Oh well. We'll now take the core and we're going to hook the core up to a... No. Yellow light. Or actually, I think we get a funnier color if we use the force field. Let's replace one button there so it looks we can access the core as well. And we hook up the uh, core to it so we'll get this yellow light. Multi-purposing hay. And it now looks like this. A nice orange light. I really like the glow we get from uh, the uh, uh, yellow force field. It's different from yellow light, if you didn't know. I very often use the yellow force field for my guns, because I like it as a gun uh, glow, kind of. Okay. Anyways, let us place some blocks where we know we need them. 
I think deflooring kind of be this color probably. I might change the floor. You know, it's kind of I really like the activation gate like from material I show it to you. But uh, it kind of I get a bit uh, less confident using decorative things as f you know as using system things as decoration because I know they might stop working. However, a nice block that does look good but definitely won't change in function is the grid. Let me show you the grid secret. I usually use it for... Uh, I used it a lot in my templates. The grid... the girder I mean. Gir girder. Alright, let me show you the girder secret. I usually use the girder in my templates as I said and I put the uh, I twist them so the end is up and you get this nice flooring material. Yeah. However, for this build I do want the lighter shade of dark grey. So we'll use it. Like that. We have the little energy beam there. How cute. Um, <laughs> and of course, this is nothing we want to stick up there. Whoops. And that one as well. Hmm. I wonder, we have our little computer here. I guess we'll still need to have some kind of covering up. I guess we can have a little storage of computers in the front row here. Let's deal with that later. Yeah. Bottom filling right there. Now is the hard question. Should we remove all these structure pillars inside or do we leave them? Because they look kind of cool. Hmm. I think that if we're going to leave structure pillars inside or not, I will ask your help about that. So please post me in the comment um, about that and some other design options. And we will be, I will be looking at it and then we'll continue the building of this thing in the next episode. Until then, I do hope you have enjoyed this little episode of building this ship. Um, because here we will end the video. Anyways, here will be the little entrance, so I just removed that part. And, yeah, that said, I hope you enjoyed this little video and I'll see you next one. This is Jim Redes and Toad on another channel, signing out.